Ito yung lahat ngayong biyernes ng uh, hapon. Ginebra playing do or die basketball in the first game. And B. McDerby Ace will be in that same predicament in our second game as Diamond Simpson connects off the glass. Always a threat inside. Simpson getting the inside position on Chris Daniels. Difficult to stop Simpson when he has that low post position. But you see what Alaska did here. They got the good spacing on a situation where Joe Devans could take the outside shot or Simpson taking the shot from low post. So two-man game, a lot of good open space for Alaska. That's where they like to make the execution. Now, complete ni uh, Simpson and three-point play. Sa Makatwit, it's a five to nothing start here para sa Alaska. And a miss there by Tubid. Here's Daniels, and he was caught stepping on the line. Let's go to Magu Marjan. In the Coach Tim Cohn uh, revealed to us earlier that he never caught them unbalanced in game number three and that the Kings just came out more aggressive. That led to their breakthrough. Coach Tim Cohn reminded the Aces to not play with a cushion today. Treat this as a do or die as well. Be physical and be the aggressors. The battle cry for today is no letdowns. Miko? But Tim Cohn realizes that the, he do, nobody, no team, wants to face Hinebra in a game five, if it's best of five, in a game seven, if it's best of seven. Oh, well, that's true. That's the reason why I feel it's a now or never situation for Alaska. Here's Daniels on the move, off the glass, and he will take two free throws. A strange situation here for the import trying to do the finish on a transition situation. Chris Daniels, rather than going strong to the hole and trying to score a layup, opting for the outside shot on a pull-up, not a good decision on his part. Lucky that he was able to get a foul and he goes to the line. Remember, he hit 11 out of 11 free throws in game number three, but he missed his first charity attempt right here. He had 19 points in game three, helping out Hinebra survive in this uh, best of five series, gusto ng Hinebra maglaro pa. One more game on Sunday. What about zero out of two from Chris Daniels after going 11 out of 11 in game number three? Boss. He's bothered taking that shot. Helterbrand on the move. He steps on the brakes. Firing away. Yes, sir. Nice pull-up jumper there by J.J. Helterbrand. Uh, you would expect a guard to be able to do that, not a Chris Daniels. Alaska still on top by three. And here's the Vance. Daniels with the rebound. Almost uh, losing that ball. Two bid. Two bid to Helter Brand. Helter Brand. Miller. Miller zigzagging. Outside. Two bid. Two bid. Four three. In and out. It rattled out. Para kay two bid. Meantime, here's Baggio. Baggio fires to the Vance. Inside Simpson. Lots of time to shoot. They move that ball around. It ends up with Tenorio. Tenorio goes baseline. Outside he goes. Baggio with a fake. Baggio top of the key. Rebound para kay Mink. Eight and a half remaining in the opening quarter. And Miller. It's Miller against Baggio. One of the subplots of this series. Sila nagpalitan ng puesto earlier in the conference. Now here's Tubid. He'll fire again. That time it's good. That's a three. Wide open shot given up by Alaska. That's what we mean when we say that Alaska must be home on the range. That three-point distance is a favorite range for Barangay Nebra. Here's Tenorio. He fires the three. Long rebound. Now pull it to Miller. Miller to Helterbrand. Helterbrand to Miller. Now that was a fast to the thriller in the making, but it was foiled. Good anticipation by L.A. Tenorio. Offensive foul on Miller. Well, Miller's going to be debited with that error on the turnover, but I think the error really was on J.J. Helterman. He had no business in passing that ball to uh, Willie Miller, and who was just in a position to crash into the defense. Which, of course, you know, that sequence in particular highlights Hinebra's perhaps biggest problem. And that is the chemistry. You know, how these players, uh, you know, how they gel together. Do they, have enough, do they have enough time to actually know each other's moves? 
these guys know each other very well, but you know, they've been playing for different teams for so uh, long. Believe it or not, Nico, I was looking at how many players have suited up for Hinebra at this conference. They've suited up 21. That's the most of any team in this league. Outside shot coming from Joe Devans. Again, Alaska jacking up a lot of those outside shots because Hinebra is playing a pretty tough zone defense. Here's Miller. Sends it to Tubit. Tubit, corner shot. Yes, sir. And Tubit is feeling it here in the opening quarter with back-to-back -back triples. At Lamang on Hinebra, 8-5 here in the first period. I think Hinebra's adjustment in starting the game with a man-to-man -man defense and then sliding over to the zone defense to take away the size advantage in Alaska has worked for them. Our official wireless... in a close series. Reiter that we can get into Friday's game. So, this will extend the series and hopefully we can get over Friday's game again. Siyempre, kung ako sila, they don't want to get into a game Sunday, so bubuho sila sa, sa Friday. Kapitan, siyempre, no? But, talagang, kumbaga, do or die na talaga. Well, pangalawang araw ng uh, do or die ang laro para dito sa Hinebra for Coach Jong Lichico. And they're used to that. Remember last conference when uh, Barangay never faced off against uh, Talking Tech? They were also in a 0 2 hole in the quarterfinals. So Cyrus Baggio just tied the game at 8 apiece as we near the halfway mark of the second quarter. Here's Helter Brand. He fires a three. Here's Daniels. Bothered by three aces. Here's Baggio. Baguio on the move. Baguio all the way. And five straight points para kay Skyros Baguio. Uh, there was the ball in his hands. I think Skyros Baguio is a great zone breaker because he can hit the outside shot as he did previously with a three-pointer. And he can also penetrate that zone with his good movement. Tubit with a miss. Daniels recovers the loose ball. Daniels makes his move. And he was bumped there by Sonny Toss. That's going to be number two on Alaska's uh, big band. Second team foul happens sa Alaska. We're still up by two points. And we're halfway done. Dito sa opening quarter. We take a look at uh, the performance from three-point distance. He never already with two three-point shots in this game. Missed by two bit. And now here's Tenorio. Eyeball to eyeball with Helterbrand. Simpson has the ball. Advantage Simpson against Ronald Tubit. Mink helps out. And the foul is against Tubit. Kanyang unang personal foul. And our first substitution of the game. Sonny Toss will sit down, getting two early fouls. And in comes Tony De La Cruz. Mike Cortez also checking in, this time para sa Hinebra. Replacing J.J. Helterbrand. And still sticking with the three-guard formation is Coach Joseph Vigico and that zone defense. Tenorio overshoots. Simpson with a rebound. New shot clock para sa Alaska. They're still up by two points. Here's the Vance on the right side. Simpson drops step and misses. One more rebound para kay Daniels. There's a fierce battle going on between Devance and Eric Mink. First personal, Laban K. Devance, 13 pa, Laban sa Alaska. Here's Miller. To Daniels. And now Baggio has the ball for the Aces. With under five minutes to go in the opening period. Baggio. Tenorio. Shot clock down to eight. Baggio fires a three. Again, that zone defense working. Forcing Alaska to take the outside shot. And they're not getting opportunities to score in the interior. Which is exactly the way Coach Joseph Wichico likes it. Now here's Cortez. Miller wants the ball against Tenorio. He gets the ball. Drop pass for Mink. Pero napunta kay Tony De La Cruz. 
Again, the chemistry issue, haunting Baragay Nebra. That play was so evident. 